So I have been on the hunt for a pair of red or pink or some sort of red and pink pattern, floral, what have you, pants for a couple of months now. And while I've found some pants, none of them have really fit me. I say really fit me, none of them have fit me. This is not that unusual for me. I'm not someone who typically fits into standard sizing anyways. So with denim, I'm usually able to find a curvy fit jean and that works fine. And then I just don't wear pants other than that, usually. Unless they do a curvy fit, it's not for me. So I've tried, I got the cutest pants from Monkey and I was so excited because I had seen other people wearing them online. I'll insert the photo here. And they, I got them a size larger than um, my typical size and they didn't even come close to buttoning. Um, which was really frustrating because if they had worked out, I was actually going to get the same pant style in baby pink. But alas, I'm left here with no pants. So what I've decided to do is take a pair of my own pants. I was looking at my collection of pants and see which ones would be sacrificed. All of the pants I currently own are curvy fit. So I knew that they did fit and see if I had a particular pair that I was like, you know what? You are the sacrificial lamb. So I am going to dye a pair of my own pants hot pink. This is not my first experience dyeing stuff. I do it pretty often. Um, my mom always taught me from a young age, like if you stain something, don't get rid of it. If you can't get the stain out, try and dye it another color that you actually like even more. And it's always worked out for me. This time, as is the norm for me and the projects I undertake, we're doing a little bit of freewheeling here. We're, we'll get into that. So I'll show you the pants. I had a um, big memory card error, so. All the footage of me bleaching these pants is gone but I have a photo like a little clip of before so I'll show you what these jeans look like before these are from uh, Hollister they're their curvy high-rise mom jean and um, they're in my typical size except they're obviously the curvy fit and I think I may have killed the uh, elastine in them a little bit they were already quite loose, they're 29, so they're actually bigger than I would typically wear. Um, but they are quite a bit lighter, not as light as I'd hoped. But I really did bleach these things, so if I bleached them anymore, I was going to start ripping holes in them. These are the main reason why we are dyeing things today, is to see if I can get these to be nice and pink. Um, they're going to be... You can see that there's a light blue still here, so they're, that's going to be still present when I dye them because, you know, dye does not remove existing colour. Um, but the colour I'm going to go for is Dylon's Passion Pink and it says it's intense colour so I'm hoping it is really in intense. It doesn't actually need to be this intense for me to be happy with it. I would be going for like a mid pink, um, more of a bubblegum pink if I had the option but that colour will not pay off well enough when they're still as blue as they are. So it says that um, this is pretty much for a single item of clothing, um, 250 grams of fabric, which is definitely more than what I'm dyeing because these are not the only things that are going to be dyed passion pink. I'm also going to be dyeing this dress. It's kind of like a swim cover up from ASOS. Um, it's like Broadway Anglaise, which I love, but the shape of it just didn't really do it for me. And again, with my memory card error, I had a video before that was supposed to go up before this where I made a simple like tiered skirt. So I'm actually going to turn this into a tiered skirt afterwards and have it nice bright pink. So those two are going to be dyed passion pink. And then I have a lighter one, like powder pink or something, I can't remember. And I'm going to try and use that on, I'll insert a clip here because I don't have it with me. A kind of a vintage sheet I bought in a second hand shop that I'm going to hopefully make a dress out of or a top or something um but the color of the sheet right now has kind of a grayish undertone I don't know what it was originally like a blue gray purple undertone and it just looks a bit washed out so hopefully dyeing that pink will help it a bit I'm actually also going to be dyeing a duvet cover blue but we're not going to do that today we're going to stick to the pinks because it's a lovely warm day outside so we're going to get into dyeing these. Um, I'll show you the process today, but they'll have to be washed and then I'll come back tomorrow with the dried items and we'll see how this turns out. Fingers crossed, 
I have a nice wearable pair of pink pants at the end of this. So it seems like my other memory card is also just gonna jump ship. Uh, need to figure out those issues, but we're gonna start filming on my phone. So all you missed was that I measured out 250 grams of salt um, and I'm gonna dissolve that. You can hear the kettle behind me boiling um, because it's too hard to get warm water here. So I just need to get boiling and then I'll use the cold to mix it down. But I'm going to dissolve this. It says in like 500 milliliters of water. It's pretty much just to make sure it's all, you know, dissolved. And then I will mix the two together. I've also gotten the clothes, so the white dress and the jeans that I'm dyeing. I have them damp right now. So I'm just kind of draining out the excess water and I'm probably gonna dye them out here because as I said, it's actually a sunny day, which is so unusual. Okay, so change of plans. Um, I put the dye in the little plastic bowl, which I don't think you had seen because that footage is now cropped out. See this? Um, and I just put in some cold water in on top of it and the bowl started to heat up. Like, and I've just checked, it was cold water, but the bowl was like rapidly heating up. Uh, so I panicked and I dumped it in on top of the salt. So that's definitely not the way to do it, but apparently it's what's happening now. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, there's definitely a scientific reason for it, but I just don't know the answer. And I'm just gonna mix this up like a little potion. So we're not gonna do the whole science part of it. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, there you have it, the beautiful concoction. <laughs> this was just getting so hot underneath, so I just literally just dumped it in there. So I'm gonna, you know, keep mixing this now. I'm gonna add in some hot water, add in some cold water, get a nice temperature, and then dunk the stuff. Cause I don't know what happened just there. So this is where we're at. That is what the solution looks like now. I think it's all dissolved. I don't know what that thing was with it heating up, but I'm about to dunk the two items. I don't know if there's enough water in there, but I'm just gonna add more as needed. And I'm kind of using the plastic plate to, uh, the light's really bad here, uh, to kind of stir it as needed. I'm afraid that there's still a little bit too much water in these, but they are jeans. So that's why they're heavy when wet, but I've really tried to get as much out of them as I can. So let's go dunk. Uh, now that I'm doing this, I'm like, these are gonna turn out straight out purple which is my least favorite color, but I mean, it's fun. So all hope is not lost, but those pants look like they're gonna turn out purple. Um, and as I said, I hate purple, so I'm not gonna be wearing them, uh, which is unfortunate. Maybe I'll cut them into shorts. Maybe I'll dye them again. We'll figure it out. Maybe they will look more pink. Like if they were a very pink leaning purple, I'd be fine. But they're looking like straight up purple right now. So while they sit for a little bit, I kind of have to stir it every once in a while now. I'm going to dye this. This is the sheet I was talking about. And it is peony pink is the other one I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be doing this in the sink here. Um, And this is... A much it's like a flat sheet so it's a much smaller item um and lighter in color so hopefully it will dye better but sad about those pants really wish they were white jeans but i didn't have any white pants i could sacrifice so it's a few days later the items are here they're dried i've licked my wounds and we're gonna talk about the results so you could have probably seen it over there the cotton dress that was just kind of a throw-in item with the pants. This item definitely turned out the best of the three. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out, though I will be turning this into a skirt, get better color here. It's a really nice bright pink. I do really like this color dye, um, and I'm definitely going to be using it for other stuff in the future. There's a large bird outside, oh my god. Um, so I'm going to be turning this into a skirt similar to the skirt I tried to make a video about, the whole footage getting corrupted situation um but I'll be turning this into a skirt it's going to be very easy so I probably won't make a video about it um if I do I'll just post on Instagram you can follow me at anime by design so this win um 
We'll move on to the jeans because they were in the same batch as that and as you probably saw from the footage but I, I got some on my phone I haven't gone through it yet I don't know exactly how much I did get um I had bleached the jeans multiple times very heavily I actually haven't put the jeans on yet because well I think they're really really ugly um I have dyed stuff before so I don't know why I was like color theory doesn't apply to me um I'm well aware <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what was going on there. So, they turned out this uh, murky purple colour. They definitely look just like murky purple on camera. Um, and very, like, patchy. They look a bit better in person. Um, they still look ugly, though. It's definitely not purple as a whole. It is blue and pink. And it's just kind of blended. Um... The bleach obviously got to the thread, which I assumed was, maybe it, it is pure polyester and it's just a yellow tone instead of a more of an off-white. It's very yellow, um, but the bleach could have done that. And then, yeah, I'll insert some like close-ups. Maybe I'll try them on so you can see what they look like. I don't really know what to do with them. The ends of them are cute because they are really pink. But as you can see, I'll just, if I hold it up here, you can really see that it is like pink and blue as opposed to even just like purple. Um, so I don't know what to do. I'm going to put them on. Um, if I do and I record it, I'll put it in over this. Um, but I will potentially turn them into shorts if they're not absolutely horrendous. But I, I really don't like them. So that's a flop. The last thing was this fabric and it's really hard to tell the difference. Uh, that, uh, what is it, is it peony pink? Um, I'll have the two colours that I used in the description um, and I think it's in some of the previous clips. But I assumed that there was going to be more colour payoff from that dye because uh, it says, you know, like strong colour. And this is, it says it's for a dyeing one item of clothing. That was two for the other the hot pink um, and you can see how the dress is a little bit lighter than it might have been otherwise but it's still very much had that strong color whatever it says like extra bold color or something payoff um, so this was the lighter pink and it has very it's a very very light color much lighter than I had anticipated maybe it shows up a lot more on like pure white cotton like really good for dyeing kind of stuff um, but this sheet has no tags on it so I wouldn't know it looks it's definitely more pink in person. Uh, I'll probably try and get uh, in there you go you can kind of see um, and I'll maybe insert some other clips of it. Um, it was kind of a murky grey colour so this was just to warm it up a bit put a bit more pigment into the fabric itself because I do want to sew with this. Uh, my mother is so annoyed she thinks it's going to be really ugly but she hasn't said that directly but I know she thinks it. Um, I'm going to be trying to make it Kind of a vintage style dress out of this i did get this second hand um from a charity shop i don't think it dyed it evenly either despite me following all the instructions so i think that's more to do with the fabric and how it's so worn but i'm still glad i did i think it did refresh and revive the fabric a little bit two out of those three items i knew were a risk going into this so it is really as expected i've tie-dyed a lot in my lifetime um big tie-dye girl for many years so I did really know what I was getting into um, I'm going to be dyeing a duvet cover and I'll again probably put that on Instagram it's just an Ikea duvet cover it's very popular it's really cute but I'm going to be dyeing it um, like a pastel blue color but I've decided to go for the in wash still from Dylon but the little pods that you put into the washing machine and um, just because it's a there's too much fabric and as we can see from the sheet, those small packs really are for a very small amount of fabric. So, those are the outcomes of my dyeing experiment. Um, I'm glad I dyed that dress because I would be quite disappointed otherwise. But those pants are really ugly. I'm actually going to start figuring out exactly what I'm going to do with the sheet today and tomorrow so subscribe to my channel to see that I'm going to be making a vintage style dress just a very classic style of dress um, I'm just currently making some alterations to the pattern that I want to use and I'm really hoping it looks adorable there are a lot more sewing 
focused videos to come, a couple of quilting ones. There's been a delay in videos because I corrupted a ton of footage. Or my camera did, or my memory card did. Whoever corrupted it, I'm not taking responsibility, but it's gone, so we're starting fresh. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at animebydesign and subscribe to my channel here, and I will see you in my next video.